Tell me about Trump and the base, because first of all, you're from West Virginia. You, I don't. Are your parents still alive? No, they've gone on. They've gone on to their reward. But you, but but you know those people. Yeah. And I, I I find my general sense is that they're good people and have legitimate point of view and have actually been screwed over pretty badly in many sure. in many ways they've been screwed over in terms of our immigration policy which they never agreed with they've been screwed over in trade they've been screwed over in 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 culture cultural stuff etc 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 but the the cult like worship of this guy this yeah. this truly horrible human being this just disturbs me. It, it, it's just at what point uh, it, there must be a point at which, however tribal you are, however much you hate those bloody liberals, you just say can't deal with with Trump. No, he's he's obviously bonkers. He's obviously dangerous. He's obviously incapable of saying anything true, and he's 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 he's, he's an unstable person and what is stopping that being a sentiment that they can own a, a party that will renominate a person who tried to steal a second term yeah is a very sick institution right that's oh my a, god that's that that's a profoundly sick institution yeah but they might and he might get reelected I right Th that really might happen the the reason you know we talked about the social cost of changing your mind. So if you say, if you live in Beach Bottom, West Virginia, and you have a steady discussion with your friends at the coffee shop or at work or wherever, you have a steady conversation about, did you see what Trump did? Yeah, those losers. They're always after him. He's the best. Ha, ha, ha. And it's good, right? He is your avatar in this culture war. He is, he, he, he is against to own the libs, right? He is the great lib owner of all time and he upsets all the right people and he does all that stuff. So he is in that way, the candidate that the mainstream press and the right wing press had demanded for all of these years, right? The showman, it never stops. He's hilarious and it's all of this stuff. So once you've accepted that as your premise, are you going to be the guy at the coffee shop who says, well, I've decided... <laughs> Donald Trump is a psychotic and can't be president again. Therefore, I will not vote for him. No. Even if you think that, and we saw a lot of this with the COVID, right? You can't be the one who's like, actually, guys, I think the vaccine is fantastic. I've, I feel fine. I had mild side effects, but I feel fine now. Thank, thank goodness for Pfizer. You can't be the one. The social cost of doing that is enormous. And part of the problem of talking about politics all the time, right? Politics is not the point of the United States of America at all. The point of the United States of America is the lives of the people who live in it. Politics is what we have to accommodate that, to make that possible. As Krauthammer used to say, that politics is the wall around the city, not the point of the city, right? That Get the politics wrong, everything dies, but it's not why you, you don't have the city to have the wall. As we made politics into entertainment, right, because after you hollow out local news, what comes in to replace it? National news. There's not enough national news. There just is not enough national news to go around the clock, except for in one topic, which is politics. And there's only one office that is elected from coast to coast, and that's the presidency. So you... When people start talking about politics like sports, when people obsess over politics, when people talk about it constantly in their Facebook feed, in everything that they do, just as you said at the outset, they have a real cost. They have, they have poured social capital into these spaces. And now, right, so at each point, you watch the Republican Party, whether it was the Access Hollywood, or you could go back to, I, I prefer my war, I, I prefer my war heroes who don't get captured. You can go back through all these moments and the Republican Party turned around and was like, okay, now, right, guys, now we're done. Now we're done. And instead, what the people said was, I don't know, I'm not going to be the one. Let it roll. Let it ride. Let the money ride. And they kept doing it and they kept doing it. And once you got to January 6th, the, the fact that the United States Senate, regardless of what your party, would not convict Donald Trump 
for sending a mob to smash in the windows of the Capitol and try to disrupt that. The fact that they couldn't do that, I was like, well, they're cooked, right? They're they're done. This branch of government does not want to be this branch of government. They're not they're not willing to do the work. So I think what happens in Oklahoma, West Virginia, Wyoming, wherever, there's a huge social cost attached to dissent. And dissent is sounds like treason, 